Hey guys, welcome to Veal, and so we are going to be starting this epic series of top 10s. This is going to be that we're going to start off this epic series with top 10 Giga Roller Coasters. So we're going to start off with the first one, and I know it says click that subtitle, I don't care. So we are going to go to the next slide. Number 5 is Steel Dragon at Nagashima Spa Land. This ride is awesome with the airtime. One of the tallest lift hills in the world, and it is the longest coaster in the world at 8,000 feet. 153 feet, I believe. And this coaster, they got new b trains at 2013, which is actually, which is good, as you can see, because there's b &M. And so, yeah, we're going to go on to number four. It's Fury 325. This roller coaster is, looks really awesome. As you can tell, it is 325 feet as in the name, Fury 325. This coaster has a 325 left hill again. 80 degree drop, somewhere around 80 degrees. And then it has a 91 degree bank turn, as you can see in that bottom picture. This ride just looks intense. Not intense, I mean very fun indeed. Number three is Leviathan, which is looks almost exactly like Fury 325. Leviathan is 306 feet tall, and it has an 81 degree drop, somewhere around that. And this has a lot of airtime, a lot of twistiness into it. And so this coaster is going to earn its spot number three, because this coaster is very awesome. In my mind, we're going to go on to number two, which is Millennium Force. This coaster is actually, I have to agree, it is pretty awesome. I have never ridden it, though. I'm planning on going to Cedar Point sometime. Well, anyway, this coaster goes 93 miles an hour and a 310 degree drop. And it was also the first Giga coaster. And so, and it is the first cable lift um, roller coaster ever. And so, I know you, uh, number one is going to be. You guys are probably going to be arguing about this one, but it is totally my opinion. But anyway. As you can see, my mouse is in there. Well, Millennium Force has, has a lot of great airtime hills. has like three, I believe. And so it has an overbank turn in the beginning. And has a 81 degree drop. That is pretty amazing. And so, number one is Intimidator 305 at King's Dominion. I know you guys are being arguing about this. But it has a 305 foot lift hill and an 85 degree drop. That is pretty almost straight down. And then it has a the airtime hill. And then it goes, has about five airtime hills in the total red. And the reason why it's got it number one is because of those transitions in it. This red is so intense. So, people consistently gray out in, on this ride. The section right before that first lift hill, or lift hill, I mean, air, airtime hill, as you can see right here, had to be re redesigned because people were consistently graying out. That's how intense this ride is. Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you want more. Thank you guys.